Hello, welcome to the video series on Primavera Avis Analysis. My name is Jacques Alexis. I'm a faculty here in the leadership and project management domain in CPS. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to model uncertainty in your project plan in Primavera Avis Analysis. When you enter information in Microsoft Project, chances are you enter what we call most likely estimates. Most likely estimates work like this. They ask you, for example, how long do you think high level planning will take for this project? You say, well, it's going to take eight days. That's called a most likely estimate. You believe, for whatever the reasons or information you have, planning may take eight days. Uncertainty modeling is about providing three-point estimates or range estimates. So in this case, in Primavera risk analysis, we're going to provide what we call three-point estimates. So if you take a look at my screen here, you can see you have remaining duration. Remaining duration is the information we imported from Microsoft Project in the first video. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a look at how do we have three-point estimates, minimum duration, most likely duration, and maximum duration. So what we can do here is to type the information. In most cases, the most likely durations we imported from project is going to be the same. So we can just type the number. So how about minimum and maximum? How do we enter this information? Usually, this information is from people with key information about the project, people with expertise, people who have done similar work, or you may probably call vendors to see what the range of estimates might be. But here, to work faster, I'm going to show you how to use something called a duration quick rest. Now, duration quick rest allow you to have a quick view of uncertainty in your project. It is useful when you don't have a lot of time and when you just need to have an idea of what your project might look like performing a risk analysis. So to do this, click on this and click on duration quick risk. Now, the distributions I have selected here is the beta part. We found that beta part is actually a very good distribution to model duration uncertainty. We're going to leave the most likely duration the same. So they're going to be 100% of the information you imported into the computer. And we're going to say the minimum duration is going to be 75% of the most likely durations and the maximum durations will be 100% of the most likely duration. Note that you can actually change this information. If you, are, if you feel a little bit more pessimistic, you can also, also say, well, I think the maximum duration is going to be 200%. You can actually increase this. Another thing you can do is to overwrite any information you manually type into the software. If you check this checkbox, then any information, uh, this scheme will actually overwrite any information you have. There. So what I need to do now is, as you can see, this part is empty now, but when I click OK, the information is populated based on the most likely estimate I created in Microsoft Project. So by having this information, you tell uh, people, your stakeholders, I am not certain how long these particular activities will take. They may take minimum duration, a maximum duration, or most likely duration. By having three estimates, you can even calculate an average. The average estimate can be based on a weighted average, the case of the beta estimate, or it can be based on a simple average, the case of a triangle, triangular distributions. So this is how 
we create uncertainty in a project. For example, if you click on any activity here and you click on this and uncertainty, as you can see, I have a beta hurt estimate with a very thin tail and with minimum, most likely, and maximum duration. So this is how we perform or we model uncertainty in our project. And by doing so, we are actually preparing for performing a risk analysis and Primavera risk analysis. Thank you for watching. Uh, look for the next video because we're creating this series to give you uh, an idea of how to use the software for risk analysis, qualitative and quantitative risk analysis. Thanks for watching.